Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Lincoln Creek, Nebraska. And uh, we have been off for a couple of weeks with all kinds of stuff going on. If you follow the channel, I've posted on the community tab in YouTube with some updates along the way. But we are back now, so we're jumping right back into our corn harvest here. Now I've got our pick up here with the fuel tank in it. I think both of our combines are actually running really low on fuel, so we're going to bring this out here to the end row, and as they get down to the end of the field here, we're going to have to top them off, I think, so I'm going to end up having to uh, interrupt our course play course here and figure out if I can get them back on track. It looks like our grain cart's coming down here probably full. Yep, it looks like he's full, so... Well, that ought to be uh, fun here as well. Hopefully we've got our auto drive and course play stuff all set up correctly. I shouldn't say auto drive. We're not actually uh, using auto drive to run the trucks at the moment. We're kind of manually kicking those courses off. But I'm pretty sure that's going to work out for us. So we're going to run over here and grab this combine right away. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to get full before we hit the end row, so we're going to have to wait for the grain cart to get over here and unload us real quick. It looks like the grain cart is dumping into the semi, though, so this is all going to sort itself out here momentarily, but we are going to have to wait for just a second. So uh, while we do that, let's jump back up here to the farm. I want to unload the dryer here because we're going to need to borrow the tractor that we've got on the dryer to go run a uh, baler here. We're going to want to start uh, baling up some of these corn stalks so we can get started on the tillage that's necessary. And so in order to do that, I'd really like to use this, uh, this tractor we've got on the big auger over here to run a baler. And uh, unfortunately, we don't really have any good uh, medium-sized tractors outside of this one. Everything else is the uh, larger articulated tractors, and those just kind of feel like a bit of overkill on a baler. And so we're going to steal the auger tractor here. It's kind of our multi-purpose tractor. But uh, before we do that, we want to make sure we can keep the dryer running. So I want to get this grain truck all emptied out here and put into the bins. Now it looks like maybe our auger got slightly misaligned here with the way the game loads. Things bounce around a little bit. Let me just make sure that this is the correct bin. This is the bin we should be putting it into, so we're going to need to make a small adjustment. Alright, so we've done a little bit of a tweaking here with the auger. It looks like we've got the corn running out of it now. Let's uh, get this truck fired back up and get the rest of it dumped into the uh, pit here. There we go. We should be all good to go with this now. So I'm going to go ahead and just get this truck parked right back up here by the dryer. So it's in the appropriate position later on. And then uh, we got to hop back out here. I want to make sure we're not missing the uh, opportunity to refuel those combines. All right, so we're back up here in field 68. And it looks like we've got the grain cart just coming up to unload us here. I think he might have went to unload that rear combine first, so we're coming into things at uh, just the right timing here. And as you can see, our fuel is uh, pretty low here in this combine, so I think uh, the plan is going to be to go ahead and stop this when we get to the end row. We're going to have to hop out and flag down the other combine as well here, because I'd really like to get both of these uh, refueled if at all possible. Thinking about it, I actually, I don't know how much fuel our pickup tank holds. So I'm hoping we can completely fill up uh, this combine and then uh, have enough for the second guy here to refuel. We'll, uh, I guess we'll find out here. So I think the plan is to stop him here. I wanted to make sure that I got kind of our path set so I know where to get this course going again. We're going to shut him down right here. And then I'll go ahead and grab our other combine here and get him stopped right as we get towards the end row here. Um, I think between the two, I should be able to get course play started back up again here without too many problems. So I'm just going to leave him right back here like so. 
and he's also almost out of fuel so we're really gonna hope that we've got enough diesel in the truck here to get both of these uh both of these refilled here all right let's see i think i've got to hop into the combine here to start the refueling process it's nice and speedy at least i like that so it looks like we're all filled up here and I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy get going again and I'm we missed this chunk of corn here that's a pretty big chunk all things considered so maybe what we'll do is uh, bring the other combine over here to pick that up and I'll refuel him and then get him started on his uh, next row because I can't, uh, in good conscience, leave that much corn sitting here uh, out in the field. That's got to be at least a few bushels. So we're at 148.5 here. Let's uh, let's see how much corn this is. There we go. 150.3, almost two bushels of corn right there. So we're going to uh, go ahead and back this guy up here, get everything refueled. It looks like we do have enough fuel in the truck to get him a little over half. So we've got not quite enough to fill two combines, but you know, a combine and a half, not too shabby. So let's get this guy going here on his course again as well. Up. Oh. Maybe we need to uh, pull into the row a little bit uh, before we hit the start button. I think he was a little bit confused as to where he's supposed to be. There we go. All good to go. And uh, our grain cart driver should be uh, able to do his thing as well here. So I think we're in a really good spot now to kind of let this field keep going. We're going to bring this truck uh back up to the farm since there's no real reason to leave it out here uh we're gonna use this to head back up to the farm all right we're turning back into the farm here still loving that sign we decided to actually purchase some equipment here we had the dealer bring it out for us we detested a case square baler earlier but uh i think we're gonna go with this other red brand here uh it was a bit cheaper and looked like it was gonna do about as good of a job. And so we went ahead and uh, took out some more of a loan here and slapped down the money needed to get both of these pieces of equipment. I think uh, the funds from bailing up our fields are going to justify the full purchases. So let's hop in this uh, 250 Magnum and get it hooked up to the baler. We're gonna send this out to one of the fields that we've already finished harvesting in and see if we can get everything bailed up now one of the places that i visited here recently one of the real life farms i was on recently they did uh, some corn stalk baling and they were using round balers for that um, i'm using square balers just because it tends to work a little bit better here from a farm sim perspective but we might have to give the round baler a try at some point. So maybe we'll do a demo here at some point just to see how course play kind of handles that uh, compared to the square baler. I like the square balers because they just keep moving. You never have to stop. Um, but I think course play will handle the stopping and unloading just fine. I'm just looking at it from an efficiency perspective. I like to keep things uh, moving here. But you pay a... Uh, premium for that i mean i think this baler was uh, a little over a hundred thousand dollars we could have got one that was 150 plus thousand dollars and so you know it's uh it's a trade-off i think we'll make that money back here though and with as many acres as we've got i'd really like to keep things moving here and so we're bringing this out here that cornfield you can see just past the trees that's uh the first cornfield that we harvested here so we're gonna go ahead and get this guy going out in that field and so I guess while we're driving, I can find our course here. This is going to be the two-time harvester course. And we're going to be following that along here with our field work option. Because I believe the bailing itself is a field work. And then the this is the bale collection mode. So once we get some bales actually done here, 
we'll be able to fire up bale collection mode. We're going to start this guy at the first waypoint. We're going to get everything all unfolded here, and hopefully as we uh, get up here, I'm going to be able to just send him straight on his way. Now, let's uh, start one left, I think, is going to be the appropriate starting spot. And we're going to try and pick up a little bit of this stuff right here on the headland. There we go. And we should be able to just, I guess I have to back up to the first point here before we kick it off. But we should be able to just start him right here and have him uh, do his thing. There we go. It looks like this is going to work out uh, quite well, actually. And so at 12 miles an hour, he should uh, make pretty good progress here. I just want to make sure these are falling off right. Yep, everything looks good. So let's let this guy go. We got to get back over to the cornfield and uh, keep things moving there. As we get this going, we're going to have plenty of time. We'll get another tractor set up here on uh, bale collection here shortly. I should probably get it going right now, but with uh, two combines and a grain cart going over here, we've got a bit to manage. In fact, it looks like it's all backed up here and waiting for us to move some trucks around. So, like I said, there's only so much time available. We need to keep it moving. It's more important for me to get the crops off of the field right now than to pick up all of the corn stalks. So we're going to get this semi going back up to the main farm and get the other truck brought over here right quick. We've definitely gotten into a rhythm here with these trucks. And so we're, uh, we're able to keep up with the combines and the grain cart. The grain cart struggles to keep up with the combines only when I... Uh, don't make myself available to make sure the truck is empty enough for him to dump into so that is uh that is definitely on me one of the things i'm gonna do just in case i miss a uh truck unload is i'm gonna change this up to drive on at less than 20 percent so if he fills a truck up and he's got less than 20 percent he can head back out and keep the combines moving while i'm moving the trucks around and stuff I think this will uh, keep things going as I start trying to multitask a little bit here. And so with him heading back out here to keep these combines unloaded, let's uh, jump back over to the farm and see what other tractors we've got to run this trailer. Last time I used that uh, utility tractor to run the uh, bales up to the yard, but I'm kind of wondering if we could grab this other magnum in here. Now, this is the bigger one, so it seems a little bit awkward to use the bigger one just to haul the bales, but uh, it's the tractor we've got available, and it's got a road speed of 32, so we're going to dump its tanks here, and I think get this guy going on the uh, bale trailer here real quick, because we really want to get these bales going up to market. And it's going to take a while. The Collecting the bales was the slowest point in the chain here last time around. So we're going we're gonna to get this guy moving. And we do have, I believe, the bigger bale trailer. I think last time I had the small one. Um, and this one's a little bit bigger, which means that uh, that small utility tractor is going to be a little undersized for it. So I think this is actually going to work out a little bit better. Now, we might uh, decide to switch this out with the other one uh, for hauling just because we've got road tires on uh, the other tractor. And I don't know how much uh, driving on the road I'd want to do with the tracks on this guy. So we'll, we'll see if we switch these two tractors out here in a minute. But uh, we're going to get him going out to the field either way. And we've got a truck to unload. So I think we're getting just a little bit better at backing these up managed to get this one in on the first try and uh, we're getting all of this uh, corn loaded up into the grain dryer if we bring up the UI here for global company take a look at our grain dryer 
We are uh, running pretty close to full capacity on this, I think, by the time we get a couple more trucks in here. So I'm kind of curious. Are we going to be able to catch up with this grain dryer before we're done harvesting this field? I think we are. Um, I know we've got that much corn on the field still. And so it's kind of like a personal goal for me to see if we can harvest that field fast enough to uh, get this, I guess we'll call it the imaginary wet tank uh, filled up here. So our truck's empty. We're at 521,000 liters. So only a couple hundred thousand to go. That's going to be, what, two truck fulls to fill this thing up? Oh, yeah. We're going to get there. It's not going to get ahead of us. So let's uh, go ahead and get this guy sent back out to our field. Uh, was that 68 that we're working on? And we're going to jump over here and check on our baler. All right, so we're here. It looks like the baler is right out here, so we're going to run and grab that real quick. And uh, I think we are going to swap these tractors out just because I think it makes more sense to get this uh, tractor with the wheels on the back here, uh, running the trailer back and forth up uh, to the cell point. And we'll leave the tracked uh, tractor out here in the field. It's a got a little bit more horsepower anyway, so it'll fit well on that uh, baler. Realistically, I probably would have brought the baler with me back up here and uh, did the switch up here at the headland, but uh, whatever. This was uh, easier just for me to see at a distance where we left off. And there we go. We got this guy back on track, this gal I should say. And so let's uh, see if we can figure this course play course out for the baler. Now, I suppose before we go all the way up there, we should probably fill the trailer up here with some bales. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just run a little bit of this up manually, I suppose. Shouldn't take but a moment with these uh, square bales in a nice straight line like this. All right, so we're almost done here. We've got uh, two bales to go here. So let's see if we can uh, get this all loaded up. We're uh, doing it from the front on view, a little bit disorienting. But we've got this whole trailer all bailed up, or all full of bales, I should say. My goodness. And so we're going to go ahead and put this thing into transport position. It's all folded up now. And we've got to get ourselves a course play course here for this. So we're going to cut back over here to the edge of the field and uh, set up this course. And so if I'm not mistaken, the best way to do this, we've got to say what field we're collecting bells. But I'm going to start the course recording here from the corner of this field. We're gonna start on the field and just bring this right down here. Now I'm sure I could figure out a way to use auto drive for this, but uh, I think we talked about this last field. I don't really have a great way to set up auto drive for the cell point. I think auto drive's capable of doing a back in type point, but we're not gonna monkey with that today. It's going to be super straightforward to just toss a course out here. We've just got to make it all the way up to our cell point, which is in the far corner of this map. So once we get up there and back, uh, we're definitely going to have been uh, waiting on uh, me to empty some trucks. I probably should have gone and checked the combines and the semi situation before we started driving here. Uh, well, it's... Uh, too late now once you get the course play course uh, going you kind of got to finish it so we're gonna just uh get this going here we just gotta make it up to the cell point and back take us probably five ten minutes here so as we come up here to where the bale cell point is i'm looking that's our soybean field i'm remembering we've got soybean straw out there too that needs to get uh picked up so we've got all kinds of things to do here uh, I'm going to turn this guy in here really tight and hopefully we're going to be in a cell point. Eh, I think we're going to have to back this up like we did before. 
So we're going to put a reverse point in here. And back him up a ways. We're going to back up a little bit farther than we think we need to. And set the unload point. And then we'll turn the forward back on. I'm going to dump these while we're here. And just like that, we made 400 bucks, not too shabby. And we're going to get this guy heading back out here. The folding will happen eventually here. But uh, we're in a hurry. There we go. And now we just got to get back out here to field 50 in a hurry and uh, start this course off. And then we'll be able to uh, go babysit our corn harvest a little bit more here. So we're coming back up here to field 50. No issues recording this path. So we're going to go ahead and just toss this guy right in here and uh, turn him loose, I think. If we stop this recording right here, we're going to save this as field 50 cell bales. And uh, we'll set the mode to collect bales and tell him to uh, get to work here. All right, it looks like he's off to the races, figuring out how to get to some of these bales here. I think he's going to figure it out. It might not be the most elegant, but it is definitely better than having to do all of this work ourselves. So good luck, course play. We'll uh, check back in on you a little bit later. Now, if we jump back out here into field 68, it looks like I've got two combines going. And our grain cart is full, heading back up here to the trucks. Let's jump back over to a truck. And surprisingly, this semi is not quite full yet. He's about to be full, though. So we're uh, getting right back up here just in time. I was a little bit worried that uh, we were going to be all full and waiting on me. I think that uh, probably cutting through here on this field, the combine had to cut in and get unloaded, uh, slowed things down maybe a little bit. But no complaints from my end. I am more than happy to uh, not be the one holding up the process. We'll go ahead and get this semi started up, though, because uh, I know I'm going to be sending him back up to the farm here momentarily. So we'll get everything all good to go to maximize that uh, process here. And while that guy's filling up, we might as well bring the second truck out here. I... Uh, Pretty sure we're going to need it. I don't think that the grain cart's going to be below that 20% mark here yet. And it looks like our lead semi is full, so I'm going to go ahead and get him moving here. Out of the way, back up to the farm. We've got loads and loads of corn here. Loving it. And we'll just pull this guy right up in here. Should start unloading momentarily. We're going to set this guy all up so that when it's time, he can get back up to the farmyard as well. I don't think we're going to be in the way back here, so we'll hop out. Looking good. Looking good. Hop into our quad track here. Oh, yeah. Everything is uh, moving along quite well. So with that, I think we're going to wrap up today's episode. We've uh, got all of our baling set up and automated. We've got the combines refueled. This whole automation is still working up here with the combine and the uh, way we've got our trucks running. We're able to keep up with everything, even though we're doing parts of it manual. So I'm really happy with how all of this is shaping up right now. Next episode, we're going to knock out the rest of this cornfield and uh, likely have to uh, babysit our bailing a little bit more, get that moved between some fields, and we'll see if we can manage to get ahead of the dryer with uh, this field. I have a feeling that uh, with the next truck that we're loading right now, we're going to be able to get that dryer all uh, filled up, and so my uh, hope would be that we can get 
the dryer completely full and get all the trucks and trailers here full. I'd love to see if we're able to actually completely uh, get backed up and have to be waiting on the dryer. That's always a good feeling, means uh, yields are good. So we'll see how that shapes up here uh, over the uh, next episode. That's all for today. Ketter out. So I think he's gonna figure this out and just uh, get going. We'll see how well this works. The hill number one is a miss. Where are you going? You're lagging my computer out is what you're doing. All right, there we go.